Hey guys, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. I'm purposely cutting off my head right here because I have to block out a glare from the sun, so excuse that. But otherwise, happy Wednesday. How's it going? Hope everybody is well. It's been a quick minute since we did a video, so I figured I would make one on something I just built last night, which I'm really excited about. So, this is a bug out, a Benchmade bug out that I built. And these are burlap micarta scales from Rips Tech, or uh, Rips Garage Tech. They're really nice. And the reason I wanted to make a video about them was because when I originally built this with the flitanium scales, I had a bit of trouble installing them. And somebody had mentioned, like, they've never had a problem with them or whatever. Um, I did and I didn't have a problem at all installing these new scales, so I figured I would just do a little bit of a comparison process-wise and just give some quick thoughts on them because I know these Rips Garage scales are getting more popular as we speak, and the Flitanium ones have been around forever. However, I mean, in my opinion, these are just as good, if not better, and these are made in the USA as opposed to China, so just a cool comparison we can do real quick and talk about quality and that fun stuff. So, when I installed these, it was really easy to do the install. These are beautiful scales. And when they originally got here, they were um, kind of a dry gray color. So I ordered, I ordered them in natural burlap micarta, knowing that if I put linseed oil treatment on them, they would darken right up. And these don't even look like the same scales that I got. I mean, the change was that different. They came like such a dull gray color. I wish I had something to compare it to around here, but um, I put linseed oil on them and now they're like a rich reddish brown almost. So that's really neat because I think it looks really good. But installing them was a piece of cake and the issue that I had with the flitanium scales was when I went to put the little spools in the back, they didn't fit in the flitanium scales at all. So I mentioned before, when I was installing them here and here, I actually had to use my Nipex pliers and a hank and wrap everything so it wouldn't mar and crush the spool into the scale. There was no other way I could do it. I tried for like maybe 45 minutes before resorting to the pliers. They just weren't going to go in. They didn't fit. And yes, they are like legit bench made spools. So that bugged me about these because I didn't feel like I should have to crush the pieces together to make it work. And granted, it went together fine in all other aspects and the action was great, the performance, everything. Uh, centering perfect. I just had to crush the spools into these scales. I did not have to do that with these though. They literally dropped right in, nice and snug and perfect. No issues at all. So just something I kind of noticed in doing a few of these builds. I really like these scales. There's nothing wrong with the flitanium per se, but I'm not going to buy them again because I have this as an option now and also these are made in China. So like any time that I can not buy from China and get something made in the US in terms of EDC gear, I would rather do that. But these are very light. The texturing is great on them. And they are machined, but they're just very, very good quality. They feel great and they look great too. So just kind of a public service announcement for all of those who like to use flitanium for scales. Flitanium has so many options, which is great. Like they just keep coming out with really cool new designs and materials and stuff, but it is because they're being built over there or there or wherever China is. So um, if you want to try to cut down on what you're spending overseas, definitely give Rips Garage Tech a, a look-see because these are really cool and I'll be testing these scales for sure as soon as I can uh, to make sure that they actually work well but yeah so far so good love them anyway that's it I just wanted to make a quick 
I didn't block out the glare. Just wanted to make a quick video for you all, because I haven't in a few days, and I miss you guys. But anyway, I hope you're doing well. Have a great day or night, wherever you are, and remember to please use your shit. Your S-H-I-T, your sheet, your shiitake mushrooms, your knives. Use your shit. Thanks, guys.